Hey guys, uh, as we are receiving a lot of requests to show exercises for uh, low back pain due to prolonged sitting, uh, I'm going to show you a few really good exercises. Uh, first one, I want you to stand up straight and lift your hands all the way up, hold your hands together. Try to think that your both hands are getting longer towards the ceiling and your both feet are pushing down to the ground. Now I want you to slowly bend backward as you bend backward, think that your hands are still going up and feet are pushing down. You can come back. Again, slowly try to bend backward as you inhale and exhale and think about your hands moving up towards the ceiling and feet pushing down. For the second exercise, uh, I want you to go against the wall. Let's keep your both forearm against the wall and come up on your toes heels are slightly up from the ground now as we maintain our body in this inclined or angled position try to keep your head looking straight to the wall or slightly down but make sure it's not looking up after that i want you to push your left forearm and right foot down to the ground so left foot is uh, lifting sideways again try to push your left forearm and right foot to the ground as you lift your left foot sideways or backward or 45 degree angle so one more time you can push your left forearm and right foot down when you are lifting left side sideways or backward you can do same thing for opposite side also hey guys uh, this exercise is really good for uh, core function and to reduce your lower back pain uh, let's try to go on your uh, supine position just like this try to raise your arms uh, 90 degree keep your elbow wrist and shoulder uh, parallel to each other make sure you don't lift your shoulder blade from the ground just try to relax your shoulder blades on the ground once you maintain this position lift your both legs 90 90 means hips parallel to the knees and knees are parallel to the ankle make sure you don't lift your legs up too high just keep it your ankles and knees parallel to each other or ankle actually a little bit lower than your knees try to keep your feet close to each other and as you maintain this position inhale and exhale now from this position uh, you can slowly lower your both arms down to the ground as you do this movement inhale and exhale and maintain this position again slowly lower your arms down to the ground Alternately, instead of arm movements, you can uh, do leg movements also. So slowly bring your right knee down to the ground sideways and then slowly come back up. Again, slowly move your right knee down to the ground and slowly come back up. You can always change the angle of your movement by bringing the right knee a little bit further this way and then come back again try to bring your right knee down to the ground slowly this way and then slowly come back as you inhale and exhale these are the progression exercise for dns 3 one supine position uh, slowly lower your right arm and right leg down as you inhale and exhale again slowly lower your right arm and right leg down as you inhale and exhale as a sec uh -huh, second progression is you can use your right hand and uh, left knee so slowly lower your right hand and left leg down as you inhale and exhale again right hand and left leg down as you inhale and exhale uh, sometimes what's going to happen is you are going to arch your back as you lower your hands and knees so make sure you don't arch your back try to bring your arm and leg down only up to you can maintain your back flat on the ground 